Creating a performance dashboard. A performance dashboard is made up of qualitative indicators of outcome that are expressed in terms of rates, ratios, or percentages addressing one or more critical variables, all of which contribute to improve business performance and competitiveness. A performance dashboard is built out with leading and lagging performance measures that have been identified as the most important in delivering positive return on investment for the employer collaborative members. In TPM, performance measures start from an employer perspective by identifying measure sets to improve talent sourcing for the most critical business functions and jobs. The performance dashboard provides collaborative and business administrators a way to easily establish performance measures that will track current and future data to ensure critical variables are being addressed to deliver a positive ROI. Creating a performance dashboard is a Strategy 5 web tool feature. Host organization and collaborative administrators have the ability to create and manage performance dashboards. Business administrators have access to view performance dashboard data associated with their businesses. To create performance dashboards, access your TPM dashboard by selecting Manage, then Dashboard. Using the To-Do checklist, select the Go Here button next to Create a Performance Dashboard. Located under the collaborative, you want to create the performance dashboard for. First, click the new performance dashboard button, then select the collaborative you want to create the performance dashboard for and select create. Next, you will give your performance dashboard a name. Then select at least one business function you want to associate with this performance dashboard. Once completed, click Save and Continue. You will then be directed into the Performance Dashboard page. The Performance Dashboard contains several different tabs to allow you to easily navigate through the various Performance Dashboard tools. The Performance Dashboard tab will take you back to your listing of Performance Dashboards. Your Performance Measures tab, the tab that you will land on, allows you to view and add measure sets to make up your Performance Dashboard. The survey summary will provide you with additional information regarding any surveys you send out associated with this performance dashboard. This is covered in the Creating and Managing Performance Dashboard survey videos. The Value Stream Mapping tab will allow you to manage the value stream maps associated with the performance dashboard. And the Scorecard tab will take you to manage your scorecard associated with this performance dashboard. Both of those tabs are covered in their own videos. The provider map will take you to a map view of all providers with addresses associated with your performance dashboard. In order to begin building out your performance dashboard with measure sets, you will select the Add Measure Set button. You will then be directed to the Measure Set tab. Starting with step one, what are you measuring? You will select the pain point or transition you will be measuring in this measure set. You can use the Filter and Add New Items feature to filter by category type, or add new items if you don't see the item you want in the preset list of options. Once you find the item you would like to add to this measure set, click Select. You must select only one item per measure set. Once you have identified what you are measuring, you will move to step two, Select Measure, by selecting the second tab at the top of the page or by clicking the Next Step button towards the bottom of the page. For step two, select measure, you will select how you will be measuring your identified source for this measure set. You can use the filter and add new item feature to filter by category type or add new items if you do not see them in the preset list of options. Once you find the item you would like to add to this measure set, click select. You must select only one item per measure set. Once you have selected a measure, you will move to step three, define measure. Step three, define measure is an optional step. You can use the text box to provide additional information to better define your selected measure. For example, the measure cost of turnover within a defined period of time might need further defined to identify what the time period is. Input any additional information needed to define the measure. After completing step three, if needed, you will move to step four, ID data sources. Step 4, ID data sources, is optional but should be used if you are wanting to collect individual data by business or talent provider. 
If you do not ID any data sources, your measure set will be aggregate, and it will be the host organization or collaborative's responsibility to collect the individual data points and then aggregate them so that they can be added to the measure set for baseline and additional data. You can use the filter and add new item feature to filter by category type or add new businesses or providers. The list of businesses is pulling from your TPM businesses and your list of providers and programs is pulling from your talent provider listing. Once you have identified all the businesses, providers, and or programs you would like to add to this measure set, click select. You may select as many data sources as needed per measure set. Once you have identified all of the data sources you would like to get data from, if needed, you will move to step five, select incentives. Step five, select incentives is an optional step. You will select all incentives that are associated with this measure set. Incentives can be financial or non-financial and will be awarded to recognize positive results and to support continuous improvement. You can use the filter and add new item feature to filter by category type or add new items if you do not see them in the preset list of options. Once you find the item you would like to add to the measure set, click select. You may select as many incentives as needed per measure set. Once you have identified all incentives, if needed, you will click save measure set. You will be notified that your measure set has been added. Select OK and you will be redirected back to your performance measures page. You will repeat this process until all measure sets are added to your performance dashboard. The performance measure page contains three tables, business measures, talent provider measures, and other measures. The measure sets will fall under the appropriate table based on the data source identified. Any measure sets with no data sources identified will fall under the other table. Each measure set will contain an aggregate row that will auto-calculate the individual business or provider data as it is entered. Under the aggregate row, there will be individual business or provider rows for each data source you identified. You can make edits to the measure set by clicking the green edit button. Once target data is associated to a measure set, it will no longer be editable. You have now successfully created a performance dashboard within the TPM web tools. Next, learn how to add target data and manage performance dashboard data.